So looking at this problem, a lot of the times you might look at this and say, okay, I know how to do a discount. I know how to do tax, but what if we have both of them together? What if we have a discount and a tax in the same problem? How are we supposed to handle this? And so at the end of the day, everybody, it's about knowing what to do in these situations that's ultimately gonna spell success. Don't try to memorize, try to understand. And so before I begin, I do wanna highlight another one of my students here in this practice test. Aldine Stewart is honestly one of the best stories I've had because Aldine is just like you and I. Aldine wants to get the score she wants, she wants to get the job she deserves, and she was willing to work for it, just like you. You're here, and that proves it. And so Aldine, look, she started off with a 28, and in a little over a month in this program, she was able to take herself from a 28 to an 84. And again, there's no secret. She was just willing to work hard for it, and all I did was make it as easy as possible to sit down and get to work. So at the end of the day, if you wanna put in the effort and you wanna work hard, then this program is for you. So reach out to me after if you'd like to learn more about it, I got your back. But without further ado, we got taxes and discount. How do we take care of this? So first things first, everybody, no matter what, keep calm. Write the question first. What is it that we need to solve for? And so remember, the question always comes after who, what, when, where, why, how many, which of the following, or how much, or whatever it is. It's those action words for questions that we're looking at. And so what we want right here, how much should Mercedes expect to pay? Don't worry about all that. It's just how much should she expect to pay? So with that said, when we ask ourselves what the question is, Mercedes is paying how much money? I don't know. We're going to find out. So Mercedes is paying this much money. Now let's go ahead and look through the information, gather it, make a plan, and let's go ahead and succeed here. So with that said, my party people, let's find out our information here, let's gather it. So step two, gather the info. What information do we have? And here we see Mercedes would like to purchase a $150 necklace. That's pretty important. Right there, $150 necklace. Right there, and it says, She'll use a coupon she received that gives her 25% off her purchase. All right, sounds good. So I'll go ahead and say right here, discount of 25%. Okay, and then up next, so I'm gonna go and highlight that to make sure that we account for the information. And then we see a 5% tax is gonna be applied. Okay, so I can absolutely write that there too. Tax of 5%. So that's all the information that's given to us. That is literally all the information that's given to us. What do we do? So if you are looking at this saying, oh, I have a discount and a tax, why not subtract them and then do that percent? No, that is the exact wrong way to do it. You might've picked one of these answers because of that, but that is not what you will be doing. That is not. If you did it that way, you might have gotten either 115 or 120 it's not gonna be either one of those. When you have a tax and a discount in the same problem, write this down, when you have taxes and discounts in the same problem, do one and then the other. So do the percent multiplied by whatever, find that amount, then do the other one. So you can do tax first, then discount second, discount first, tax second, doesn't matter, but you're gonna do one and then the other. You are not mixing the percents together. Very common mistake that a lot of people make. Let's get to it. So what we're gonna do here is first, hey, if we apply the discount, how much money should we expect to pay? Then apply the tax to that, and that's the final sale. So if we have a discount of 25%, what percent are we actually paying? Hmm, well, here's how to do it. If you have a discount of 25%, what are you taking that off of? You're taking it off of 100%. Every original amount or the whole thing of anything, the percent is 100%. 100% means the whole thing. And so if you have a discount of 25%, that is essentially going to amount to what? 100 minus 25, that is gonna be 75%. That is what we're paying. 25% is what we're getting off 75% is what we're paying. 
And so knowing that, the first step in this problem is going to be to figure out what 75% of that $150 necklace is. That's gonna be our first step. Once we figure out what 75% of 150 is, then we can go ahead and move forward by easily going ahead and applying the tax and we're done. Here we go. Zooming in now, 150 times 0.75, right on there. And so with that said, 150 times 0.75, here we go. Remember converting a decimal and percent, move it over twice. That's how I got the 0.75. But without further ado, here we go. Zero times five is gonna be zero. Five times five, that's gonna be 25, carry the two. One times five is five. Bring that two down is seven. Next up, we gotta bring that zero down. And first things first, here we go. Zero times seven is gonna be zero. Then five times seven is gonna be 35. Carry the three. And then here, one times seven is gonna be seven. Bring that three and that's gonna be 10. So we have all that good stuff together, add it all up. We got zero, we've got five. Seven plus five is gonna be 12 and then one. And like we said, remember when we're multiplying by decimals, whenever we're multiplying by decimals, we need to bring those decimals back. So we have two decimal places here, two here. Boom. So we have $112.50. Are we done? No, we are not done. The $112.50, this right here, that represents how much Mercedes would expect to pay after the discount. We still haven't accounted for the tax. And so to find the tax, super simple. Find 5% of that $112.50 and then add it back. There's two ways you can really do it. So again, method one is gonna to be to go ahead and do 5% of the 11250, then add it back. Or method two is gonna be doing 105% of 11250 and you're done. Now the reason that the second method will work is because remember, whenever you're doing a percent change, discounts or taxes, you start from 100%. We already did that here. With the discount, we started from 100, went down 25 to get 75. With the tax, start at 100 and go up by 5% because it's tax, you're paying more. And so that's how you can get 105. But in my opinion, you have one, two, three, four, five digits, three digits, I'm not doing that multiplication. I don't like that at all. So I'm not gonna go that way. I'm instead gonna go this way because it's a little easier to go with. And so let's go ahead and get to it. Let's do that method here. 5%, which is gonna be 0 0.05 times the 112.50. So we're just gonna set up our multiplication, add it back and we're done. Let's get to it here. So 112.50 multiplied by 0 0.05. Let's go. So I'm going to do this in gray. So we have zero times five. That's going to be zero. Five times five is 25. Carry the two. Two times five is 10. Carry the two is 12. One times five is five. Carry the one is six. One times five is five. And so what we're going to do now is we are going to make sure that we bring all the decimals back, which means we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we have $5.625, which makes no sense at all, no pun intended, but, because we have three decibels here, but here, we're gonna take that as the tax, that is the tax, and we are going to add that back. We are going to add that back, so right here, we're gonna add back $5.625. So adding it back, let's go. So we have a zero here, so zero five is five. Two and zero is two. Five plus six is 11, carry the one. Two plus five is seven, carry the one, it's eight. 
then everything else just comes down. So what we have here, the final price will be $118 and that many cents, but we're gonna have to round to the nearest cent right there. The problem says round to the nearest cent, which means this is the nearest cent, but we have a five here. And remember, if it's zero, one, two, three, or four, you round down. If it's five or above, you round up. So because this is a five here, we will round up. And so because of that, we're gonna have 118, so approximately $118 and 13 cents. That will be the approximation. And that's why C is the answer. And so again, my party people look, this is not luck. You will not achieve this by luck. We will achieve this by working hard, asking questions and being honest about where we are and just working one day better one day at a time. And that's it. And so remember, if you want to do that with me, I am your ASVAB coach. I'm Anderson. Reach out to me if you have any questions about my program or any of the other help that I offer. I'm here to help you succeed. And it's as simple as reaching out so you can succeed. So go ahead, reach out to me. 567-698-8867. If you'd like to learn more about my program, let me know that you just watched this video. That way I understand that you're working hard and we'll set you up as best as we can. Let's get to it and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button up here. That way you can get more great content from us or text ASVAB to that number. That way you can join us for a free class and get a free mini course at the same time. And then look forward to the next video. That way you can continue crushing it and raising your score. Anderson, your ASVAB coach here. See you next time.